Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we're going to take a look at uh, changing some oil in a 2008 Chevy van. And the reason that we're going to do this is because you can see it flashing down here, the oil life remaining. Uh, we've had a problem with this van since we bought it. And what it's doing is the oil pressure, which is right beside my elbow there, is not registering very well. So we're going to change the oil back to the 530 that it's supposed to be. But uh, before we do that, let me give you a little tune. Here's my handy dandy harmonica. That's for you, man. Enjoy. Boy, the screen's getting little. Okay, we start by going underneath the van and locating the oil drain plug. We go ahead and put a wrench on that, loosen it up, and next we just unscrew it by hand. Ooh, it's magnetic. That was cool. There's the oil plug. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's magnetic. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? There it goes. See it coming out? It's supposed to be six quarts in here. Sure looks like it's got a lot more than six quarts. But, it's okay. We'll let that drain for a little bit longer. Next, we're going to remove the oil filter. This is an oil filter wrench and it's really designed to fit right here for this Chevy. It's really tight to get the wrench behind the filter. Once you fit your wrench onto the filter, go ahead and loosen it. Um, pretty soon you'll be able to do this by hand, but first you just have to break it loose. It takes a couple seconds, not too long. Now you can just simply unscrew it um, with your fingers. It should come right off. Make sure that you have something to catch this oil. As you can see, it starts to pour right out. And yeah, that oil can be a little bit warm if you haven't waited a while, which I didn't do, so it's kind of hot. And slippery too. I mean, really slippery. So here you have our oil filter. Ah, it's hot. AC Delco filter. And um, we're going to give it a try. Looks to me as if it's about the same as the other one. Same thing. Put some oil on your O-ring so that it doesn't crack a bit. Spin it on there as tight as you can get it with your slippery fingers <laughs> okay we've got that on there fairly fairly tight and uh, we don't want to get it too tight let's wipe it all off there so that it looks pretty and um, let's go put the screw back in the other side so now we have our oil filter in place Okay, remember our screw was magnetic. See it hanging right there? We're going to reinsert it. <sighs> and put it on there as tight as we can get it with our fingers. We're going to tighten it up. Okay, we're using
using some Valvolin 530, which is what this engine called for. And I have a feeling that um, someone put 2050 in here last time and caused that oil pump to go bad. But we're going to reinstall the original. This is high mileage oil, by the way, because this van has something like 260,000 miles. A lot of miles. So, without a funnel, we're going to make a funnel. <laughs> we need to make a funnel for this. Here it goes. We're putting five quarts of Five quarts. Now we're going to use a synthetic product from Valvoline. I don't know why I've always used Valvoline for years and years. I used to use Quaker State, but one time I had an engine replaced and they showed me how bad it was, so I quit using Quaker State. And this is a High mileage. It's upside down there, but high mileage. Uh, Two hundred twenty-five thousand mile thing on there. I don't know what that means. Well, this is what the manufacturer called for, which is five W thirty. Like I said, I have a feeling that someone put 2050 in here and uh, really messed it up. Okay, with the van running, we look for leaks. Looks good on this side, on the oil filter. Now we're gonna check the other side real quick. This side looks real good too. No leaks here. I hope you enjoyed the little video and maybe learned something. This is Chuck with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina.